We are continuing our zip trip to 96 on this Friday morning. And Christine Scarpelli is joining us live once more. She always has something interesting for us. Christine, what you got this time? And many mornings I feel like I'm learning along with you. You do your research before these mornings, obviously, but I am kind of mesmerized by Superintendent Joshua Manley with me here this morning. 96 National Historic Site. So glad to have you with us. There's so much to learn. I don't even know where to start. That's why I'm like, because eh, eh, eh. there's so much to hear. Um, about 100,000 visitors every year. What are they coming to see? Well, we've we've got a unique site. Uh, it's a wonderful mix of cultural resources, you know, history, archaeology, sure. as well as some amazing natural resources. The park's about 1,022 acres. We've got a paved one-mile trail that'll take you from the visitor center all the way across the battlefield okay. to see the most important sites that we can offer folks that are very well preserved, including the Star Fort, which is original. Uh, and it'll take you right back to your car. So it's very accessible. Any visitor who wants to come, they can experience that. Even if you don't love history? Even if you don't love history, we've got over 10 plus miles of trails. Good. So you can get out and hike. We, uh, we allow horseback riding. We have equestrian trails. One of my favorites, we have a 27 acre fishing lake. <laughs> <laughs> Large mouth bass, <laughs> crappie, bluegill, brim, catfish, uh, it's awesome. But uh, you know, it's a very important site in the history of our country. Uh, a little more, just Absolutely. To, and we even have a couple things in front of us maybe to talk we about. We do, quickly, so we, we, we preserve and commemorate that site where two battles were held during the American Revolution. Right. The first in 1775 was actually the first land battle south of New England. So it kicked off the Southern Campaign in South Carolina where folks may or may not know the most amount of action took place in South Carolina versus any other state in the colonies. And then later on in 1781, uh, it was a 28 day siege of the Star Fort, which was the longest battle of the American Revolution. So what I brought was some examples of types of firearms, munitions that would have been out. used. This is so heavy. You told me about how much does this weigh? Uh, this, I'm guessing this is normally about 30, 35 pounds. That's a swivel gun. It's time for me to start lifting so some weights. This would have been, you know, uh, compared to today's light infantry. You could carry this around. You didn't have to have a cannon on a carriage. So you would have loaded these small shot in here. Oh, wow. So a charge of black powder, such as this here. Okay. They would have fired out that way, so you could have fired a single shot. They uh, they also used this to fire shrapnel. They could throw whatever they could find in there with powder and shoot it out. Yikes. And oh then as we get gosh. further down, I brought a six pound and a three pound cannonball, and those would have been loaded similar. Wow. This there would have essentially been a giant shotgun shell. This so lots of different shots. And much more this weekend. Thank you so much again. Festival of Stars happening this weekend. You were listening to Chris Turner, national recording artist, and much more. Guys, Malachi, what do you think? Pretty cool stuff here. Yeah, absolutely amazing, especially if you're a history buff. That's a place you want to be and a, a place that you know very well. All right, weather-wise, we're in great shape this morning. A mild start to the morning. Highs are in the 80s today in the upstate, low 80s in the mountains. And coming up, we take a look at your weekend weather and our seven-day forecast.